Artists deserve to be able to create the art they want and they should not be attacked for it. If you want to draw beautiful women, go for it. If you want to draw beautiful, handsome men, go for it. We are talking about things that are being posted on the internet, a place where many different things exist, and usually when you dislike something, you just scroll past it. You don't stop and attack someone over it, but that's not the case here. This amazing artist with years of hard work and experience is currently being attacked because apparently the body proportions for some of her characters are too similar and they're just not diverse enough. Popular anime video game pinup artist Sakimi Chan accused of being fat phobic. Can we just stop adding phobic to everything and ists to everything? Do we have to do that every time? So Sakimi Chan, a popular pinup artist um, whose work prominently is featured popular video game and anime characters, found herself the target of a recent outrage mob as a wave of social media users recently took to criticizing her body of work due to their opposition to her personal art style. That's the key word. Personal art style. No artists draw the same. No artists create the same looking characters. If she wants to create female characters that all the bodies look the same, she's allowed to. There's no, there's no thought police for art that say, you can't do that because that's too similar. People are allowed to take opposition to it, yes, people are allowed to dislike it, but when you attack someone and even start a witch hunt on them, that's getting into different territory. But the wave of criticism against Sakimi chan began when a Twitter user drew attention to a tutorial on drawing bodies, first published by Sakimi chan in July of 2019. People are getting outraged over this now. April 23rd, 2020 is when they retweeted it, and this is from 20. 19. Expressing in a now deleted tweet her disgust that the bodies are all the fucking same. These are all the same. These are all the fucking same. As you can see, one is supposed to be the original, one's supposed to be like a, a slightly exaggerated version. And of course, they said, I don't want anatomy advice from this person who was responsible for this. They are not even looking in the same fucking direction. Oh, of course, we just have to go to the anatomy advice. Aren't these the same people that go, oh, where are her organs? Where are her organs? Because we hear that so much on Twitter. That's, that is the, that is the response to people drawing sexy female characters that maybe look a little bit unrealistic. It's, it's fictional characters. Does it matter if they look realistic? Anatomy advice, they're fictional characters. They don't have to be accurate. Um, in the tutorial, which is available through her Patreon account, Sakimi chan discusses three different female proportion styles, normal, one that's more curvy, and one that's a bit more exaggerated. Basically, what I see is the hips and the bust, which is fine. Those are the big differences. Well, besides the hair, of course, but those seem to be the three big differences between them. They look great. They all do. Um, of course, following that initial tweet, though, Sakimi chan was soon bombarded with criticism and harassment by like-minded art authoritarians, with the harassment ranging from claims that she was a terrible artist because she did not understand anatomy, to accusations of fat phobia based on a tutorial on drawing plus-size bodies that did not conform to the critics' very specific standards of representation to outright calls for the continued bullying and harassment of her. The these people are so angry about this art style being slightly exaggerated that they are calling for an attack on this artist. They want to start a witch hunt, and that is awful. Someone said, I don't want to be rude, but I don't really uh, like her art skill. I don't think it's amazing, but this is a prime example of how people don't know how to draw fat people. She never said fat. She said curvy and over-exaggerated. That 
could be that could mean anything in her mind that could mean anything to you that could mean anything to me someone said as a larger woman this really sucks for a multitude of reasons you refer to the typical skinny body as normal and then there's barely any difference in the second and third pinup oh no too bad so disappointing you can't broaden your horizons past skinny oh no that's probably what her what her fan base wants to see this this woman sakimi chan she has over 50,000 followers on twitter she's obviously doing something right and just because a few outraged people on twitter don't like her doesn't mean that she's overall disliked i don't see a lot of outrage from any of her fans now if there was outrage from her fans then maybe she would feel differently or maybe she would respond to it but she hasn't responded as of yet and i don't think that she should i think that she should feel proud of her artwork she's a great artist she has done some fantastic work in the past and all of these all of these angry people all of these people that are saying your art isn't very good screw them i mean look at this look at this amazing final fantasy 7 remake art she has done some very amazing artworks in the past i really don't think that she should be worried about a few outraged people on twitter i really hope that she, this doesn't bother her too much obviously like i said she's got she's got over eight thousand patreons she is a huge artist she's very well known i mean i knew who she was but that is all that i had to discuss in this video if you enjoyed it please make sure to give it a like and of course if you did not make sure to give it a dislike I appreciate your support either way, and I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.